For this sample club, you're going to need a piece of material that is eighth inch thick. I'm using eighth inch thick MDF. And you will need the light bulb that was specced in the description to be able to make this project. This is the design that I'm going to be using for the sample club. I've got both sides, the front, the back, the top, and then the middle support. What I'm going to do is print this over to the laser. Make sure I choose the epilogue engraver. Make sure the custom size matches my artboard and select print. So inside of the laser software, I see on the camera that the design lines up with my material. I am going to split this by color so that it cuts out all of the red, no matter what, before it cuts out any of the black. I'm going to import some vector settings that I have for cutting eighth inch MDF and select import. Do the same for the black. In here, the settings are 20% speed, 100% power, 20% frequency with vector sorting of inside out. Those are set to be the exact same for both colors. Now that I have that, I'm going to go ahead and select print and laser cut all of these pieces. Once all the pieces have been cut, we just need to pop out all of the pieces that don't belong and throw those away. All right, so this is the top panel. These two are the sides. The front and the back are these two. And then this is a middle support. So the way to put this together is grab one of the side panels that has the hole in the top corner. And you're going to take one of the back panels and interlock them by sliding them together like so, so that they stand up. Now do the same thing with the other side panel keeping in mind that it's going to be a little tricky to align these. So what I'm gonna do is put in the top panel into the holes as I slide them down. So that's locked in place. Next, I'm going to take this middle panel and try to slide it in to the interlocked holes while I slide that piece down, like so. So now I have three sides. And then the last piece, I'm going to slide in from the bottom. It will be at a slight angle to be able to get this middle piece in. like so. And now they're all locked together and you can close the top. The last piece is to take this light 
There's the hole in the bottom for this. You're going to squeeze the prongs together, put the light bulb through that hole, and lock it into place. Once it's plugged in, you can turn on the light, and you have a nice little lantern.